Hey guys, what is going on? So I just wanted to give an update in terms of my supplementation as I'm going to be adding something new here as well as I've already subtracted something. And I also just want to reiterate where I'm at with my ectosterone dose. Um, it has not changed. Get a lot of questions about how much I'm taking. Um, I feel like I've mentioned it many times, but three capsules is what I'm taking. I have been doing this since July when I started my bulk, although two of those months I was on a different brand of ectosterone. Figured I'd do apples to apples uh, when I switch over to Intelligent Elephant. So continue to go with three. Obviously the increased potency um, saw you know a pretty dramatic difference between the two brands. And uh, three seems to be more than adequate for me as of right now. Might increase in the future, but I won't do that before telling you guys. Um, but anyway, that's where I'm at with that. Spacing them out throughout the day as I always have, um, or pretty much always have. And that's how I recommend it for you guys is to space them out. You know few hours apart at least and uh, that's how I'm doing it. So in terms of what I am adding, what I'm subtracting, um, I guess probably makes sense to start with what I am subtracting, which is curcumin. So this was sparked from a video that Derek made with Andrew Huberman on you know his podcast. It was a clip and it was talking about the potential downsides of certain health supplements. And Namely, curcumin was the star of the show there. And I was unaware of this, but curcumin is actually inherently anti-androgenic, which, like I said, I was not aware. And um, in the podcast, you know, he kind of talks about how people think of these health supplements as being only positives and no negatives. But in reality, there's kind of a give and take to everything. Whenever you take something, there's always kind of something else that could happen. It's not always just like pure positives. And with curcumin, even if it is a net positive for certain people, you know, if they're trying to reduce their inflammation, if they're trying to reduce uh, joint soreness, um, stuff like that, could potentially be a net positive even with the anti-androgenic properties of it. For me, though, um, obviously my joints seem to be doing pretty well as of right now, but I have been taking curcumin this whole time, so I don't really know if that's one of the reasons, but that was kind of um, just that and the general anti-inflammatory um, things associated with curcumin, you know, it just seemed like a no-brainer to take. I didn't really do a lot of research on it, to be honest, um, but I'm deciding to take it out as the anti-androgenic properties are not really something that I want, and considering I'm attacking muscle growth from a different vector by using turcosterone or ectosterone, and I've been able to grow muscle from that vector, but the whole time I've really been taking curcumin, makes me think that I could potentially get better results if I were to, you know, have the AR be a little bit more active. And I don't really know how all that works behind the scenes. I'm not too versed on that, but it does seem like I could be leaving some gains on the table. And if my joints are currently healthy, I decided to take it out. And I did this a few days ago when he made the video or when he posted it. Um, and I had a friend that I was talking to that was also taking curcumin and I showed him that and uh, he saw it as well. And we both stopped taking it and we both noticed that just our general well-being has been boosted over the past couple of days. Um, workouts have been significantly better. And I don't know if this is just placebo, um, but it just seems like whether it's placebo or not, there's probably something going on behind the scenes in terms of taking that. And maybe I'm just a little bit sensitive to it. Maybe I'm taking a big dose. I don't really know. But for the time being, I'm just going to pull it out and see what happens. And coming from that AR side of things, I want to add in, and I've you know recently got an order coming in the next couple of days for Gorilla Mode AR. So those of you who don't know what that is, it's just L-carnitine, L-tartrate, which is beneficial for uh, weight loss generally, but is also um, an androgen receptor upregulator, which, you know, when you stack that with the lack of curcumin and you potentially have that other vector coming from the ectosterone, combining all those could be pretty substantial. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. And um, before I get into, you know, that, and I don't know if I should probably just discuss this in another video or if Derek's made videos about this, but uh, L-carnitine is not entirely safe either. There are, you know, downsides to that in terms of TMAO. Um, I do take garlic as a supplement and that's something I've taken L-carnitine before. And the reason why I stopped taking it was I was taking it on this bulk and I noticed that my ability to gain weight was pretty decreased. <laughs> like I had to basically... Um, 
barely inch up in weight week to week when I was taking L-carnitine and I figured, why is this happening? I'm eating a lot of food. I'm coming from a pretty low place of calories when I started my bulk. And I decided to pull L-carnitine uh, via Gorilla Mode AR from my supplement stack. And then I started noticing that I was gaining weight much more easily again. So now that I'm up to around 234, 235, um, added about 10 pounds since I pulled that uh, AR from my supplement stack. I'm thinking maybe I should add it back in. Um, I'm not really looking to add too much more fat from this level or too much more. Um, like I don't really want to get that much heavier. So I figured adding, you know, that, uh, potential to be able to have a little bit more, um, fat burning, potentially having that androgen receptor, um, density, having, you know, the curcumin bringing down that anti-androgenic portion of it. And then having, like I said, the ectosterone coming from another vector, Hopefully all that combined can lead to further muscle gains, lean gains, potentially fat loss. I don't think I'm accumulating too much fat here, but it's just going to allow me, I think, to continue to eat in the massive surplus that I have been eating in, um, not gain too much fat, and hopefully actually gain a little bit more muscle in the process. So that's why I'm doing all this. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see where that takes me. So far, the experiment of pulling the curcumin, like I said, I did that a few days ago. Seems to be going well, so I will be adding Grill Mode AR probably on Thursday, I think it's supposed to arrive, so excited for that. And uh, anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. I'll keep you updated, and I'll talk to you soon.